Hi, I'm Norint. Here I'll be your guide to enter the wonderful world of SliceMaker. This software is built on foundation of CSS box model. With this software, you just need to slice the graphic with design. Each slice you've made can be considered as a CSS layer. And then these slices will be generated to DIV and CSS codes automatically. This is an easy to use tool. All you need to do is import graphic web design, slice graphic web design, set slices in toolbar, then generate. A perfect web page is done. This software which can almost meet all your demands. In file, you can perform some basic operations. Here you can edit your slices. Here you can generate and preview. In view, you can view the slices in the way you like. In tools, you can see some basic attributes. Here you can see web root directory. Select file encoding. Use absolute paths. CSS sprites. Style location. And image format. Here you can enter title, keywords, and description for your web page. After taking the box, the system will generate body style codes. And after taking the box, the system will generate link style codes. Here you can import JavaScript file and preload image. Here you can create names as you wish for your slides. In template, you can insert these templates we offer you to your web page. This is a processing area for graphic web design. Here you can import graphic web design and slice it. After generating, you can view the generated DIV and CSS codes. Tree structure provides a simple intuitive operation model for you to view and manage your image slices. You can view any slice and then select it to edit. Here you can see your slices on the graphic web design. This area provides you diverse features. Just select the slice, as in you can convert the slice into anything you want, such as image switching effect, sliding door effect, etc. Here you can see basic attribute for the selected slice. Here you can add link for your slice. Here you can input text and codes into your slice. Here you can see your slice and drop down menu. Here you can see the slice as any kind of HTML control. Here you can see the slices and scrolling effect. Here you can see the slices and sliding door. Here you can add JavaScript to your slice. Here you can see your slice as image switching. Here you can add a video to your slice. Here you can insert external flash and image to your slice. And here you can add other style to your slice. After that, let's handle and sample. Follow the steps. Firstly, import graphic web design. In tools, options, set web root directory, select file encoding and image format. Tick the box to generate body style. Tick the box to generate link style. Name your web page here. 
then slice the graphite with design. Before beginning, I should mention you the basic rules of slicing. As we've said, this software is built on the foundation of CSS box model, so we should follow the basic rules. Slice from top to bottom, from left to right, box in box. It means, in a slice, there should only be up-down structure or left-right structure. So let's do it. We can adjust the display size for better view. First of all, slice a big box to cover the whole image. Then make the general structure. Select limbs for these three parts. Header Content Footer Then let's process these three parts further. The header, we can slice it into two parts, up and down. We can slice upper part into two parts, the logo part and the navigation part. Then the content part, slice to box this photo part. Box in these two parts. Slice the left part like that. Because both of the two parts has the same structure, so let's copy it. Hold Shift key to select these three slices. Copy them. Paste in the same position. Click the right arrow button on your keyboard to move it horizontally. Ok, let's handle the footer. Slice to box the text. Slice the three logos. So the slicing process is done. Then let's save the attribute to each slice. Select the slice. Set it as background repeat X. Select the logo part. Set the slice as image. We can add a link to the slice. Select the navigation part. Tick the box to set it as sliding door. Because it's navigation here, we set it as low content. Click the button to add navigation items. Here we add 5. In the title for each item, We can add a link to each item. Save and then close the dialog. In caption style, we can see the style of each item. By observing, see the wise and 114 pixels, height and 34 pixels, and the top padding and 11 pixels. The green item on the graphic web design is a selected item.
So let's see the item font color to white. See the item background color to green. The other four white items on the graphic we've designed are the unselected items. So let's set it in the similar way. See the banner as image. And link to the banner. See this photo as image. And link to it. Then these two titles, they see them as image. Save these two photos as image too. Then add link to both of them. Select these slides and put text here. See the font color to white. Hold shift key to select these three slices. See them as image. And link to them. Then see the footer as background repeat X. Check out to see if there is a problem. Then generate and preview. Okay, we can say it's done.